Hey everybody, I am here today to show you and tell you how to clean a coffee maker hot plate or warming plate. This will be a full tutorial for removing burnt coffee. Let's get right into the video. As you can see, I have this coffee maker right here and all of this down here is pretty much burnt coffee where the coffee is spilled on the warming plate and it has continued to warm and it has burned the coffee, which creates this look and it's a very rough surface. It's just not pleasant. So I'm gonna show you how to easily remove it, okay? It's a very simple process. Obviously make sure that the coffee maker is off and the warming plate has cooled down so the last time that this was on was actually yesterday so this is completely cool you want to make sure that it's completely cool now the method that I use there are a few different methods but the method that I use is very simple I just use a little bit of baking soda and water and a cleaning toothbrush so you want to have a toothbrush I always recommend to people to have a toothbrush in their house that is specifically for cleaning things and only for cleaning household items that is this toothbrush for me you've probably seen it in many of my other video tutorials for cleaning I always use it for cleaning so it's very simple what I like to do is I like to start off by just putting a little bit of water on the hot plate so I have a wet a wet uh, towel here I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on the hot plate just like that okay and next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip the, you can get the baking soda and you can just put it right in there. Uh, but what I like to do, I mean it's, it's up to you. What I'll do is I'll just pour the baking soda in there. Sometimes I use the toothbrush to bring the baking soda in there. But I'm just going to go ahead and just put a little bit of baking soda on there. So you can probably see right there, there's the baking soda on there, okay? Now baking soda is a great cleaning agent because it is not uh, very abrasive, but it's just abrasive enough to get some cleaning done. So now you're going to get your toothbrush your cleaning toothbrush, and you're gonna just scrub the areas. Okay, and you wanna focus specifically on the areas that have the most burns on them. So I'm gonna start off in the middle, and you can probably already see right now, It's pro give me a second, let me do a little bit of scrubbing, and I'll show you that the brown discoloration is gone, okay? You're gonna see that it, it comes off right away. Now this coffee has been caked on here for a very, very, very long time. Now, I think I put a little too much water because you do want to have a little bit of abrasion. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use that same cloth to remove some of the water. So I'm going to absorb some of the water and I'm going to add a bit more baking soda. Just give me a second. I'm just going to actually rinse out this cloth right over here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'll place the cloth back over there as you can see. I'm going to add a little bit more baking soda. Okay. Just like that. And now it's barely wet. So I've already got the majority of it off. But now with this little bit of baking soda, it really gives me that abrasive, uh, that abrasiveness that I need to remove the coffee. Okay. Now we'll take some elbow grease, but I like using this better than any chemicals or anything like that. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I don't like using chemicals to clean in general. But especially not when I'm cleaning something like this in a kitchen, right? So I like to steer clear of chemicals. And as you can already see right there, if you take a look in the middle, you can see that it's significantly come off. The browning has significantly come off. Now, like I said, um, in reality, if I wanted to really get this really, really clean, I would probably have to spend a solid maybe five to ten minutes doing this. Um, but like, it's not something that you have to do on a regular basis. This is something that you do, you know, whenever it's necessary. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clean it up. Give me one moment. I am just going to remove the baking soda and I'll show you what it looks like, okay? Now, depending on how bad the burnt coffee was, how significant it was, you might not, you might not get your original color back, but you're going to remove the burnt coffee. So if you remember before, it was actually all brown. The entire thing was, was significantly brown, whereas now if I zoom in, you can see that that middle part that was all brown is now the, the burnt coffee has been removed. Even over here, this was all brown as well, but the burnt coffee has been removed. Now, like I said, I could easily spend another 10 minutes just scrubbing away and making it uh, look really, really precise. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a day at this point because I don't want you to have to sit here and watch me scrub this for 10 minutes. But it works, as you can see. Really easy solution. And you probably already have baking soda around, lying around your house anyways because it's a very useful product for many different things. So that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.